Are you ready for a cash tour? That's right, Cash Canada is on a cash tour of the Caribbean. Nine geocachers are aboard the new Staten Dam from Holland, America on a cache tour with Land Shark Geocaching and we're gonna go find some caches through the Caribbean Island. Six new ports of call. We'll give us some new countries to find and a whole handful of caches. So let's get going. Let's go caching. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Cash Canada Caches of Caribbean. Welcome to Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. This is the Amber Earth Cache, and here there's a replica of a lizard encased in amber that happened about 25 to 40 million years ago. This is one of the most famous structures with amber in it, and it's uh, on display in Porta Plata in Dominican Republic. This is a larger version of what's there. The lizard behind us is actually only about an inch and a half long rather than about three and a half feet. So I wonder, can they get the DNA out of the lizard and recreate the lizard? Oh, that's a good question. Let us know in the comments below. Can they recreate stuff from amber, just like on Jurassic Park? So on the uh, info board beside us, we get answers to the earth cache. And amber is one of the things that really struck Lyric Glass when we were first here on our very first vacation to Porta Plata. It was lovely. I, I fell in love with amber and I wear it all the time now. Makes sense then why this cruise resort is named Amber Cove. Our ship docked for the day and we had the opportunity to log a total of seven caches. We had seen everything the tour offered, so we decided to stay in the resort and only go after the nearest three. There was one thing though, the country's oldest cache wasn't that far away. We're in a taxi now with Felipe. Say hello Felipe. Hello. hello. We're with Felipe and he's taking us to Porta Plata. We're on our search for the oldest geocache in the Dominican Republic. It is a virtual cache. Okay Felipe, let's get us there. Step on the gas. I know. <laughs> well, we made it here into Porta Plata on the taxi, and we're here at the virtual A Walk in the Park. Yeah, and we took a walk through the museum to see the, all the beautiful pieces of amber. And we saw a the actual piece of amber that the replica for the earth cache at Amber Cove was made from. One more cache stop, and that's back at Amber Cove. Yes. So let's take a look uh, over here in Port Plata. We want to say thank you to our guide Felipe. Dominican is Canadian, US, US European, England. England. Yeah. So everybody should come and visit and get a ride from Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> So here we are, Felipe brings us to San Felipe, and who do we meet but the geocachers from our cruise. Here they are. And there's Carolyn CL, she's back again. Fortaleza San Felipe is an historic Spanish fortress strategically located on a hill overlooking the Atlantic Ocean that protected the entrance to the city seaport. It is also known as El Moro de San Felipe 
and was used to protect the city of Porta Plata from pirates and corsairs. Construction of the fort was commissioned by King Felipe II of Spain in 1564 and was completed in 1577. While here, we did join in a search for a cache, but it was missing. We later found out it was replaced later that same day. life here in the Dominican, but somebody's got to do it. I volunteer. All right. <laughs> I think we got one more cache left. Maybe. Our last cache of the day at Amber Cove. Yep, this one is a virtual cache. It was established in 2018 as a simple cache for travelers to grab a cache on the island as they're traveling. As opposed to simple travelers going for a cache. What did I say? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, all you got to do is take a picture and here it is. Or if you're in the resort like we are, answer three simple questions. We're gonna go get those right now. So hey, we'll show you them real quick. Let's go before we get blown away. So inside the resort, it brings you to the tablets here, which give you information about Dominican Republic and its past. Yeah. And that concludes <laughs> this virtual cache. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on this episode of the Dominican Republic. Our next port of call is Bonaire. We hope you'll join us for that episode. Come and see us again. Where, Where will geocaching take, take you? If you are interested in a Land Sharks cruise, contact Land Sharks at travel.landsharks.ca. Welcome to this episode of Cache Canada. Caches the Caribbean. Oh, that's all you're gonna say. Okay. That's all. Mango, mango.